Hello and welcome to our channel, where we discuss various industries and their supply chain processes. Today, we'll be exploring the wind rotor industry and taking a closer look at its supply chain. Let's get started with the definition first. The wind rotor industry refers to the manufacturing and installation of wind turbines, which convert wind energy into electrical energy. It encompasses the production of various components such as rotor blades, hubs, towers, and associated systems required for generating electricity from wind power. Such systems include yaw systems, like motors, gearboxes, brakes, generators, and power converters, converting rotational energy into electrical energy. The first step in the wind rotor industry's supply chain is the acquisition of raw materials. The two most used raw materials are steel and fiberglass. Steel is utilized for the tower sections, while fiberglass is used for the rotor blades. Typically, these materials are sourced from separate suppliers and delivered to the manufacturing plant. After the raw materials have been received, the manufacturing process begins. The steel is cut and shaped into the required size and shape for the tower sections, while the fiberglass is molded to create the blade shape. Typically, blades are made from a combination of resin and glass fibers. The third step involves quality control to ensure that the wind rotors meet the required standards. This involves inspecting the dimensions, weight, and balance of the rotors. Any defects or issues are identified and addressed before proceeding to the next step. Once the wind rotors have passed quality control, they are transported to the installation site. This step involves loading the rotors onto specialized trucks and transporting them. Careful planning is required to ensure that the rotors arrive at the installation site on time and in good condition. The final step in the supply chain is the installation of wind rotors. This process entails using specialized cranes to hoist the rotors into position atop the tower. After the blades are connected to the turbine, the entire system undergoes testing to ensure that it is functioning correctly. During the wind turbine life cycle, maintenance is conducted, including inspecting, cleaning, and repairing components to ensure safe and efficient operation. It covers activities to monitor the mechanical and electrical turbine condition and its structural components, cleaning blades, lubricating bearings, and repairing or replacing damaged parts. We hope you found this video informative and insightful. Thanks for watching. Visit us next time and subscribe to our channel.